Hello everyone, welcome back to the walkthrough. I double tapped. <laughs> and let's see here. Well, obviously we got we're gonna go on to Lurker Valley this time. We're gonna be doing things on the hardest and easiest club things, but we're gonna try different sorts of clubs along with that. Weak, flat, giant, and yeah, let's try that. See how that goes. Now, I guess for the last round of experimentation with the clubs, I'll try the miscellaneous clubs, which probably have stuff like the skimming woods, those high lofted wedges and stuff like that that I that I like playing with the most. So probably those are what's gonna yield the lowest scores out of all my rounds. <laughs> And it looks like that the character that you're playing as is not randomized at all. So, well, I mean, then again, it's only been three rounds, so it's kind of kind of hard to say for sure. But yeah, we've been getting Joanne for all these rounds thus far, which is fine. But we did see that there was a secondary character if we played match play, which I kind of am curious to see what that character's name is. And he... oh, so close, so close. So I'll probably just like check the. A match match really really quick to see his, his sprayer and whatnot but eh, eh, we'll see <laughs> just be like a final day bonus or something like that of the final part of free play mode all right so this is one that I think I had better results landing f short of the green and just letting it roll up to the pin if I recall correctly dunk dunk Dun, dun, dun. Yep, that's good. I mean, it's not in, as I'm hoping for with these large holes, but it is a birdie, so I will take it. <laughs> and the giant holes so far have not yielded super sensational long-term, I mean, uh, long-shot results thus far. We'll see, though, because that could always, always change. I'll hit way back there and allow it to roll over to the end of the little island. I don't even need to use the turtles, I think. I mean, maybe I should have aimed for that one on the right, and then skipped over to another patch of fairway, but I don't know. I kinda, I'm kind of used to this particular angle go going to this green at this point, so I might as well. <laughs> Whew, I miss hit that, so it's gonna go a little left. Mm, and long, too. Mm. Hmm, I thought the rough would have slowed it down a bit more, but maybe it didn't land on the rough. Maybe it landed on the green. Oh, I just noticed the, the lofted wedges here are part of the pro clubs, so that's not a miscellaneous club, according to the game, at least. Uh, but I don't know. Those, those those wedges are pretty pretty high. <laughs> okay, so that's something that I would expect to do often with the uh, large holes, of course, is chipping it in at least from that distance, or putting it in from that distance. Actually, come to think of it, maybe I should have putted there. I just kind of seen the wedges, and I was like, eh, I better use the wedges, I feel like you didn't. <laughs> oh, and could you imagine if they let you turn off the wind entirely? Oh, really? That. <laughs> but yeah, if, if you could turn off the wind entirely, just imagine that your shot-making possibilities. <laughs> Uh, I'll actually go way over there because the wind is with me, and I think I'll be able to make that and get over to the well. All oh, the, oh, the bones didn't stop me at all. I was gonna say, are those bones gonna get in my way? But no, it just like went right under. <laughs> okay, well we're good. We're good. We're good. Just gonna go ahead and chip her on. Oh, it's actually more than a chip, but you get what I'm saying. We're gonna do an approach shot and hopefully get it in. Okay, now this should be the time that I should be putting instead of chipping. So, boop, and yunk. Yeah. Pro decision making. <laughs> this has been pretty steady thus far with the pro clubs. We're going to see what the miscellaneous clubs are like soon enough. Or whatever the poop those are going to be. Uh, it's probably just like all the other ones. No, wait, actually, I was going to say. All the other ones that we uh, had in our inventory are actually uh, not quite everything because remember there was like a a more mid-range power set of clubs that we got fairly early on and then we started getting stuff like the um, uh, skimming woods and stuff like that and then we got the pro clubs so yeah I think they're not gonna cover all the clubs in this I don't think <laughs> 
And if there's only four sets that you could choose from, well, we've got five different sets of cl Wait, what am I doing? Putter, putter, dang it. Think, PK Gam, think. <laughs> oh, no, really? <laughs> I thought that was plenty of power. I was incorrect. And thus, I got a sad power for it. But yeah, so I think the they're probably going to skip the... Uh, the height and distance clubs, just because they're the least, I guess you could say, exciting of the, <laughs> of the bunch. I don't know how you want to call it. Uh, le the least themed of the bunch, I guess you could say, because like regular clubs, you always think of the first clubs that you get in the game, which are of course the well-worn stuff. Um, pro clubs is what we're using now. Uh, antique clubs is of course the super low lofted and hard to stop on anything anywhere your club dealios and then the set miscellaneous ones we haven't seen yet so all right this looks good oh. how just how am I not making it from such a short distance <laughs> something tells me um, I'm gonna end up gravitating to those miscellaneous clubs just for the skimming woods but we'll see. Although, maybe not, because if it's going to give me the Lightning Wedge, that might not play into my uh, preferred chipping style of high loft, so I don't know, I might have but oh! Okay, those bones get in your way. <laughs> well, it's a power five anyway, so... Uh, let's see what we can do about this. See if we can get ourselves out of this pickle. Hopefully with... Is a birdie under our belts? Get to the fairway at least. Oh man, oh man. I tried my best. No regrets. I oh. guess I'll try for that fairway then. I guess it's, the rough is going to slow it down about the same amount, so at least you would think. <laughs> okay. Well, unless I chip it in, which I guess is semi possible from this distance, this is looking like another power hole. Here we go, here we go, come on, giant holes, be my friend, oh, oh, <laughs> see now why doesn't that happen more often, Just, seems weird, seems weird, <laughs> alright, oh, and I also noticed that they're putting us at the back tees, like you can't choose a set of tees that you're playing as, like see that red blues, and there's yellow and then the reds, so yeah, I don't know, don't know why they won't let you choose those, since we have played at different tees throughout the game on various- Oh, really? <laughs> well, well, still a chance I can make it. But anyway, yeah, I don't know why they aren't letting you choose the tees. Maybe that could be added in a future update to the game or something like that. Who knows? But I do know that I'm gonna make this, because I'm pretty close. Yeah, okay. But the question is... Can I finish even better than I did at Wellworn of 8 under par? That seems highly unlikely. <laughs> We're gonna try it though. We're gonna try and get in the hole from a long distance away, if possible. <laughs> well, long being like 153.9 yards specifically. <laughs> uh, okay. Hit point. Well, we're actually gonna. I'm gonna try straightening that because her draw, I think, is messing with my. Uh, my landing ideas and let her fly oh please don't go in the tar because I under hit that <laughs> okay oh 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 it worked <laughs> I think we've got a method <laughs> a method to her madness so yeah instead of just letting her natural draw go I straighten it out using the impact zone on uh, approach shots and stuff like that all right so I actually finished better than well worn somehow uh, uh, now we're going to change to those miscellaneous clubs. Strong, strong, regular, begin. Let's do it. Yeah, see, not, r rounds on this game do not take very long at all, although maybe on the harder conditions they will. <laughs> like, that was only about nine minutes for the round, so... Alright, so I, I do have the skimming woods. Oversized irons, really? That's what you're giving me as, like, the mid club so that I guess they do I guess I guess we are using the uh, the more powerful clubs we got the shovel instead of the lightning wedge okay I can live with the shovel 
the lightning wedge, though, is, it just feels very situational. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's nice to increase your chipping chance around the green, but what do you do from a distance? Like, <laughs> just, just, it's such a low trajectory, and it doesn't stop very quickly, even though it, I feel it probably should, because that is a, a shot that you could do IRL golf, you know, a low uh, zippy shot. But, well, but, well, ooh, oh, well, I was close to anticipating the slope and the wind, but alas, it was not good enough, oops, well, it's still possible to get that chip in, I suppose, I suppose, I'm, I'm anticipating that the wind is going to knock me back a bit, and then the wind, and then the slope is going to take me to the hole, which it did in a way, but not as I predicted, that's okay. It could very well have been the difference in the yardage with the rough. Who knows? Could have been my bad aim. Who knows? <laughs> All I know is next hole. By the way, if you didn't see that at the T area, I do believe that is a ball washer that they have there. See that off to the right? I mean, off to the left there, excuse me. Off to the right's a bone, but yeah, I think that off to the left is a ball washer. Quite a handy thing to have at a golf course, because your ball can get pretty muddy, and if your ball is muddy, it'll spin in directions you do not want it to spin. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. So I, I basically clean my ball after every hole, and on the green sometimes, depends on if the ball is caked up enough, but... Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> That's not what I was going for, uh, but it works, I'll, I'll take that. I was expecting to land it short, roll it in, but nope, it'll just go in on the fly, I'll do. Technically, it wasn't a uh, slam dunk, though, because it did, it did a little juggle on the edge of the edge of the cup there, so... <laughs> Didn't count as a slam dunk, but it's close. Very close. Oh, maybe I should have aimed to, to the right side off that turtle this time. What is off? Like, is it that beneficial to use that turtle side? I don't know, that's... How would I land it on that little area? Uh, yeah, it's probably better off that I'm aiming over here on this hole. Anyway... I'm gonna go and play a lot of wind. And... Hope that the slope counters it a little bit. You know, the slope of the green. Ooh! Well, it certainly had a lot of... A lot of slight side slope bounce for sure, but... I didn't want it to have that much. I figured that they would kind of cancel each other out because one's coming in at against the angle of the slope, but nope, that slope is just that slope. <laughs> a lot, a lot of slope. And yes, I know I'm not putting because of the uh, distance that I am around uh, between I my, myself and the edge of the green, excuse me, so yeah. That was a purposeful decision this time. E oh, I made it. Getting used to this heavy slope, one putt at a time. <laughs> And I guess one chip at a time, too. So I'm going for chip-ins, if at all possible. Mm. Mm. Let's get it between the dinosaur track ice cream and call it a hole. That's not where I was... I wanted to go in between the, the big toes, not the land in the middle toe. I don't want to get the dinosaur bird. That'll, ang that'll anger me. I mean, that'll anger the dinos and they gave me the bird. You get, you get what I'm saying. And up. Uh, that much roll up. Oh, oh, yeah, the 11 yard range. I forgot to take that into account. Whoopsie doodle. Well, well, well. This could be bogey town. Well, I don't know, maybe not. I just gotta get it to bounce in front of the green and knock off the power of its landing. Okay, now why is the wind affecting the ball that much here? It's. It just feels like sometimes the wind makes the ball go a whole, whole lot further to the side sometimes in some cases than in, in other cases. I'm not sure why, but wow, that slope is really, truly heavy. <laughs> yeah, okay. But yeah, that, that I think that's mainly what's getting me on uh, shots like that is when the wind is just takes it more to the side than I'm expecting. But well, but well, I'm doing decently enough, I guess. <laughs> I'm even. Same as 
the end of Well Worn Grove's harder condition setup, I guess you could say, so <laughs> I will take it. Well, thus far. I, I could very well get some more birdies as I go. Okay, so how much will the wind affect me here? And also, how much will the slope affect me here? Coming in at this angle, I must pay close attention. That was pretty average. <laughs> so I don't understand that. <laughs> don't put it off, don't put it off! Ah! <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Because that it just seems to accelerate when you go into when you have heavy slope like that. Dunk. Oh, that was close. <laughs> yeah, that's that heavy slope. If you're above the hole, you know, putting downhill, you may not survive. <laughs> So maybe I should always aim for the landing area of being below the hole, if at all possible. Uh, in theory though, uh, even though it's kind of uncomfortable for players, you actually have a higher chance of getting it in the hole when you're putting downhill than uphill. Just a little golf statistic fun fact. <laughs> I think it's because of the... Uh, because uh, you're hitting it at a slower speed and it goes towards the hole at a slower speed, so it has less of a chance of like lipping out and stuff like that. So if it just trickles down and hits the edge of the hole, it's more likely to drop in as opposed to uh, just rimming out and you're hitting up the slope and it just comes to a stop relatively quickly. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and putt this. Max power though. <laughs> Mm, I'm, I'm technically, I guess I wasn't max power in on itself because I could have used um, ZR to get more out of that, but I, I thought that was going to be enough for basically what it was set up as default. Okay, well, now we know. <laughs> Not doing too bad though. Um, now, th that bone got me on <laughs> the other round. I'm going between it this time, now that I got an understanding of the wind a little better, I guess. And thus I did, between a bone and a hard place, and hard place I mean rock. Uh, I think it'll rake the fairway if I hit at that trajectory, I think. Yes, we are good. And then one little chip to get on the green and potentially, potentially get a birdie. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of ah, uh, that, that maybe not because the wind and the slope are kind of crossing each other and they're both leading to off the green. Well, uh, well, if I putt, it might go in. Just aim a little bit to the left of the hole, my right. Well, and oh, characters left, my right, and let her fly. Oh yeah! <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I, that was that was pretty hard to get close to the hole on that one, based on the wind and slope angles and stuff like that. I still wonder how they're able to change the green slope at will. I mean, I know that there's training aids that they have uh, that you can put a little slope in between the putting mat and the floor, but it's only a small putting mat. <laughs> It's not ingrained in the ground <laughs> like the grass roots are, and <laughs> so it's a, it's a little bit different. Uh, oh, maybe I should actually go with the shovel. And I'm just trying. Like the the wind and the slope is crisscrossing each other again, so I think I gotta anticipate more wind than slope. I think, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> They're both pretty powerful. All right, I make it. Yes, I can. All right, steady at one under par. But will I be able to make it to under par by the end of this? Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. It's a long par four. But I have... Ooh, that was bad. <laughs> I have the shot making. I have the skills now. <laughs> Maybe not when I started playing the game, but I'm doing pretty decently now. And... Yeah, wait a second. I'm gonna go way back here because of the heavy slope, yes. And... Hope to Arceus it doesn't roll off the green and into the tar pits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 
I used every inch of that green. <laughs> and a lot of power. Dunk. Yes! Even a birdie on the last hole. Look at that. <laughs> Getting used to these conditions. Two better than Well Worn Grove under par. Yes! And with that, I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. We head over to the beach. Oh, wait, no, actually, it's Cheeky Peak Peak next. Heard me.